Good evening, folks, and welcome to Asshole Week 4. As you'll see over the coming weeks and months, we're trying to get as many players and levels and skills involved in this. And so tonight we have the Battle of Bushwood, John O'Shea versus Marinaris. Looks like we're playing Bonnie Moore, which is a, a home course for John O'Shea. And they're both going to hit their torpedoes off of the T. Holes 1 and 2 are, are really good holeout opportunities, and we'll see if uh, which one of them can take advantage of it. Pin in the, in the middle back arena, this is a good look. John has a nice swipe, but he was aimed a little bit right. Now let's see uh, if Adam can hold his out and take an early lead. Oh, he pushed a little bit right as well. So we should be uh, all square after one. No blood, and we'll see if the second hole is sometimes reachable. Let's see what look. They do have a reachable look. They've got to hit it, hit all of it. And John just gets up there. That'll be a nice chip look. And Adam should do the same. He did a little bit of a swerve. I'm not sure if he was worried about that wall, but that's going to leave him a much trickier second shot. And the chip for John is good. So we have a hole out on hole number two, John O'Shea. Let's see what Marinaris can do, and let's see where his ball ended up. It, it, it bounced that back down that hill. Let's see uh, what kind of look he has. He's going to be dead back down. He's going to have to give this a lot, a lot of extra, more than you think. And shot is up, and it is short. He will clean it up, but through two holes, John O'Shea has taken a one-shot lead. Hole three, big downhill. you got to uh, take a little bit off of it. It's going to go farther than you think. Pretty good straight wind here, so they can go after this. John's a little bit long. We'll leave a uh, downhill putt. Should be uh, very manageable to clean up. And it is. And let's see what, what Adam Bognoff, Marinaris, can do with this hole. He's down one. He's got to try to make something happen. Lands at pretty much the same spot as John. Similar downhill four should be easy to clean up. And there we go. So through three, John O'Shea is still with a one-shot lead. Fourth hole, Maniacs up into that nice area. Good, good distance control, good shot. And Adam is taking a little bit off of it here. He's got to get up there. All right, that's a fine look. This is another hole where you need to hit it a little bit farther than you think. A ball will often come up short here. John gives it a good run. He's long, that's fine. Nothing, won't, won't be hurt there. Nice little putt. Let's see if he cleans this up. He does. And let's see Adam's approach. Adam has been known to play some of the earlier holes well in, in some of these matches. And then when you get to the trickier holes is, is when the wheels sometimes come off, which is really common for a, a lower level player. Um, we, we see that a lot. You know, the, easy, the easier holes, the hole out holes are early. Take advantage of those. Uh, but the, you know, the difference between watching someone like Adam play and, and someone like Good Drive 5 when he was still with us, when he used to play, um, was that, you know, as we get to the tougher holes, the, the better players still capitalize. Okay, here we are, finishing a pole five. John O'Shea taps in. Here's Eagle, nicely done. And this should be a good look. Okay, grabber, interesting. Nice shot by, by Adam, he cleans up. He still trails one though, as we head to the sixth hole. This is a big downhill par three, pins in the back. Nice safe shot, a little bit of a bender here. John takes care of that easily enough. Let's see what Marinaris can do. If he's gonna attack this with a jab, or if he's also, he's going with a sniper, interesting, okay. He left himself a little bit of work here. Left three should be able to handle this, but and he does. Through six holes, we still have a one-shot lead for John O'Shea. Sniper is left short. Interesting choice of ball there with the uh, a lot of green to work with. Perhaps a javelin might have been uh, a better choice there, but nevertheless, he gets his birdie and. Adam will be going with a nine wood javelin. He's gonna to try to land this here. It's gonna bank hard left off this green and you gotta get it there. Okay. It's got a long down six left four putt. This is a pretty critical putt already down one and he misses it. Adam Bognoff has now dropped 
two shots to John O'Shea. He's dropped one, but he's down two. As we head into the eighth, this is a good look. The wind behind, this is now, this is gonna make this hole reachable. This hole can play very difficult with the winds in your face. But here they have a, a nice tailwind. Let's you play it up there in your second shot. Go right for the green. This should be, uh, they should be able to attack this. John is at 97%, and that's not gonna be enough. And Adam also hits it short. Interesting, they, they, both, uh, they both missed the green there. Okay, let's see. Oop, John almost out of the bunker, almost holds it. He'll clean up his four, so he's given one back. Let's see if Adam can take advantage of it. Not a great look. Right up against the wall of the bunker. And he hits his cinch. Oh, he's in a little bit of trouble here. He's got to make a find out a way. And he does not. All right. Well, Adam is now down three strokes. Uh, so only through eight holes. And, and Marinaris, Adam Bognov has got to find a way to make up three shots and, and do it rather soon. John O'Shea bends the sniper. It's a little bit short. There's a good win. you got to hit this ball, though. Looks like Adam's got a little bit more club, and he's in about the exact same spot. So again, these two guys showing you why they have languished in the lower levels of, uh, of league for years. Um, not, not reaching greens and not hitting shots that uh, otherwise they should be making. But nevertheless, uh, John cleans up with a minus 13, despite the hole out on two. And here's Adam with his shot on nine. And that's a big hole out. He needed that one. He gets one back. Minus 11 through nine, it's down two, and we will head to the back nine of Bonnie Moore. John O'Shea probably went for a run in between playing the front and the back. It's something he likes to do. I think it's been like 10 straight years he's gone for at least a five mile run or something stupid like that. Anyways, second shot on the 10th hole and Javelin comes in nicely. Should be an easy putt to clean up. And he does. Let's see what Adam can do with this shot. It's a good look with that with that pin in the back right. You can really go at it with a jab. And Adam is attacking. Oh, a little bit light. It plays uphill. You gotta give it a little bit extra percent or two than you think. But nevertheless, we are still at a two-shot lead as we head into the eleventh hole. Oh, John O'Shea almost holds it. Great shot. Clean that up. And this is another good look with a pin in the back and a jab look. Let's see if Adam can take advantage. The shot is up and it's a little bit right, but that'll be an easy cleanup. Head to the 12th, and the 12th hole is interesting. You play it up to this, this hill, but you really need to make sure you don't go too far right. And like that, that should be okay. You want to keep it on the left side and not carry that hill. That's going to be a little bit of a trickier shot for Adam on the downhill. I think John just held up enough where this should carry true. And it does. Nice little orbit shot. Cleans that putt up. He's in for the eagle. Adam's going to have to give this a little bit more. But the wind, and he is going to be short. Yep, that, that hill really hurts you. Let's see if we can... Save another one. He's, he's been scrambling. He does. Another sand save. And two of the last four holes he's, he's saved, from, uh, saved from trouble and kept himself at least within striking distance of John. As we head to the 13th. Sniper for John. Safe shot. Green that you don't want to mess around with having too long a putt because it's a very sloped green and you can... Have some, some tricky putts. Let's see if Adam can put it close and have, give himself a good look. Should be a reasonable putt. And he cleans that up. All right, so Adam is still down two. He's got to make something happen. It's good win, good look for, the, for this hole. They, let, they can go after this pin. And John's a little bit long with the sniper, but you know, it's a decent putt. Let's see if he can bend this in. And he does, very nicely done. Let's see if Adam can put this a little bit closer. Interesting, no, no, uh, no orbits choice there, but another right, right four, difficult putt. Adam's got it, stays within two. They will play this to the, this little, 
island area, uh, lower level tea box, I believe, <clears throat> on the left. I don't know what it is, but uh, they'll hit the maniacs there. It'll give them a clean look off of a fairway lie. Don's going to hit a sniper. This is another shot that you have to hit a little bit longer than you think. And he's going to ranger put it. I will not say ranger because I think that's stupid. It's funny for a while. Not, not funny anymore. Adam's going to use a grabber. And he'll be a little bit off the green. This should be a, a ranger putt or a, or a chip and takes care of that pretty easily. As we head to the all important 16, oh, the 16th hole, it's a great look. Wind behind. Oh, the fairway does bounce right. You've got to keep that a little bit farther to the left. Let's see if Adam does. Nope, he hits a similar spot, but it should be okay. That, that should go away and have a nice look into a. A big downhill, this ball will carry. Should be a, a pretty pretty easy shot. This hole set up very, very nicely. Uh, it can set up incredibly difficult, but this setup was very favorable and both players seem to have handled it just fine. Let's see what the, the 17th par three can be a tricky one with the tower. Let's see where the tower sits up. Nope, we're at the, uh, the nice and easy tee box. Just gotta get it. Oh, that's a nice shot. Nice sniper shot, safe. Adam's gotta, gotta find out a, a hole out here. He's gonna go with a, a higher loft club. Interesting call. Oh, he almost actually had the distance right. All right, we're heading to the 18th. John O'Shea, one hole away from victory at his home course, Bonnie Moore. Sniper, and he, oh no. Oh, John O'Shea has hit a mistake, that wind actually looked pretty decent, and he came up short, he's gonna try to make this chip. Otherwise, the door is wide open for the Mariners to tie this match up. And the chip is just leaks a little bit to the left. Unfortunately, he will clean that up. The door is open. Adam just needs to uh, hit GT par, which is an eagle here. He gets it up, good distance, and this is gonna be a tie. We're gonna be heading to extras. Wow, incredible uh, turn of events there on 18. Not sure what, what uh, let's go back and look at what John hit there, but to come up short was uh, shocking, I guess, is one way of putting it. So we will head to sudden death, replay the back nine. We'll uh, start on the 10th hole. And once one of these two players wins the hole, either with a hole out or a drop shot by their opponent, the match will be over. Both hitting it out to the fairway. Another good good flag for this one, good pin. They can attack it with a jab. Let's see if one of them comes close. That's a high loft shot. That's not gonna give yourself a great chance, but it was safe. I think in sudden death, you'd wanna go with a, a lower club like this and, and really go after it and try to Try to try to win the match. All right, so no hole outs on 10. We will head to sudden death to the 11th hole and see if uh, John O'Shea can take back the victory that he had uh, within his grasp or if Adam Bognoff will complete the shocking comeback, frankly, and, uh, and beat him. A left three putt for John O'Shea. Well, that's fine. Leaks into the left side of the cup. This is another good look. Adam can go for, go after this. He's gonna hit driver. Take a little bit off of it, and oh, that's a good shot. Almost needed a little bit left, and I think 100 percent would have uh, would have gone potentially right in the bottom of the cup. So we will head to the 13th, or the I'm sorry, the 12th hole. Once Adam cleans this up, some great shot points. Nicely done. We'll head to the, the 12th. Let's see if they learn their lesson and don't go too far to the right. That's good. Right up top there is where you want to be. And Adam will do the same. He goes uh, flirts, flirts with, diff, with danger a little bit, but otherwise safe. And John O'Shea with his approach with the orbits. He's got a straight up five putt. This should be very manageable. And here we go, another chance for Adam Bogdanov to have a hole out to win the match. 
I don't think any of us really expect that, but nope, there we go. And a tricky putt. He left himself some, some work here. Oh, nicely done. Up four, right four, and Adam stays alive as we head to the 13th. Big tailwind. You got to make sure you don't hit this too far. Oh, John has done just that. He's got a tricky putt. Oh, whoa. I am not sure what happened on that putt. That took a uh, <laughs> sharp turn to the left at the end there. Adam has a chance to win it now. Puts this close and misses for the win. An incredible comeback and, and frankly a shocking victory. Adam Bognoff, Mariners, beats John O'Shea on the 13th hole of Bonnie Moore, sudden death. And I got to tell you, the, uh, the betting odds were, were heavily in favor of John O'Shea winning this match. It looked like he had it through 17 holes. He choked. And finally, Philadelphia has a winner. Congratulations, Adam Bognoff.